favorite YouTuber, hopefully, very barely. And today, I am finally back after like a three week of MIA. Um, I have actually a really legit reason for being absent. The week after I filmed the best friend video, I was actually filming this video. And then um, the week after that, which was the Martin Luther King week, I totally, and I mean, I totally just got the flu got the fever and I had this super bad migraine it was just disgusting so I was on this bed just literally dying from sweat and migraine a migraine really just got me I remember I was actually crying to my mom she was like what the f are you crying for right and then I was like because I'm the only one sick and you're not sick so yeah hashtag such a good daughter that was how I spent my three-day weekend how did you spend yours? Anyway, so I'm back with another DIY video. This one is actually relatively simple. Just make sure you get all the measurements right. Today I'll be showing you how to make a lace dress and also a lace crop halter top. I actually don't know what these tops are called, so um, if you know, leave me a comment. That's my little update or little rant. Just make sure that you eat a lot of vitamin C. Don't get sick. It sucks being sick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. So first I got out a shirt that fits me and I folded it in half and then I placed this on top of a piece of paper that I also folded in half. And with that, I'm just going to use a straight edge and just trace around this. So as you can tell, this shirt has sleeves so I actually changed it into a sleeveless dress. And after you're done tracing it, you should get something like this and then just cut it out. And then using that pattern, I traced it onto the fabric that I'm going to use. Notice how the fabric that I'm using is actually knitted and it is stretchy. So this way, the overall project will have a more fitted type of style. And next, you will need your lace. Um, again, this lace I'm using is stretchy. And I just place a stretchy lace over that stretchy white base. So basically, I'm just going to trace around that white base with with that lace now for the back part I am also using lace but this lace I'm using is actually a curtain so it's not stretchy using the paper pattern I'm just going to cut out the lace but instead I'm going to leave about an inch for the bust and also the shoulder now that you have the back part and the front part you're just going to assemble them together so you're just going to sew the blue parts together and then with the purple parts you're actually going to hem them and after you're done hemming and everything and sewing, you're basically done. Now moving on to the next one, which is our lace dress. You need to first take the measurement of your upper bust and make sure you find a comfortable spot where you can breathe in so it's not too tight or too loose. This will actually be the length of your elastic piece. To determine the length of the fabric that you need, you actually need to take the curviest part of your body, which in my case is my butt. And yes, I'm very full aware that I am not using a measuring tape. It's just that when I was filming this, I could not find the measuring tape at all. So now we're done measuring you're just going to get out all your fabric so the white part is actually the base of the dress and the lace underneath it will be the lace on top of the dress and basically on the top part you're just going to make like a little fold um, about an inch and then you're just going to sew it together and underneath which is basically um, the bottom part remember to hem that after you're done making that little section up at the top you're just going to insert your lace I recommend using a safety pin and, and then when the ends meet just sew them together so this is what you should end up looking. You're just going to connect the both ends of the white base together and then to the outside lace as well. And after you're done, hem the lace. That's basically it. I purposely wanted that few extra inches for the lace because I feel like I can also wear this as a maxi skirt as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my little rant that I had going on. I'm still trying to brainstorm what I want for my next DIY video. I kind of already have ideas. I'm just waiting for some materials to come and whatnot. And also, if you're wondering what, where I got the sweater and the scarf and this whole outfit jumbo and everything, I'll just link it down in the description. It's from sheinside.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and relatively simple video. If you do, please click the subscribe and the thumbs up button. Um, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye. Okay, okay. Don't do it after five. Okay. okay. No.